Hey, 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 what is going on and welcome back. What is up, you? Today is day five of the free wealth mindset for entrepreneurs challenge. And I am so, I'm so, so excited to be here with you today. What's up, Sanella? Whoever is here, go ahead and comment below. I want to know where you're coming in from. And I am so excited today because today we are talking about debt. The, the ugly word of debt. And uh, it's really, it's actually such a fascinating topic. What's up, John? Good to see you, brother. So day one, we discussed rich people are and the relationship that we have. So go ahead, if you haven't seen all five videos, go ahead and skip back and watch one all the way through five. And I'm really excited to see what you find about we're back. So day one was about, what's up, Timothy? Good to see you, brother. Day one was about rich people are dot, dot, dot. So it was our relationship to rich people and how we associated with rich people or not rich people. And day two was about our, and someone's going to have to remind me on this one. Day two, what was day two about? Day two, oh, was the law of reciprocity. Day three was about money is. Day four was about being a grown-up about money. What does it mean to be a grown-up about money? And today is about good debt. So many of us grow up with this idea that debt is such a bad thing, right? Because debt means, you know, you're spending money that you don't have, right? And, oh, Timothy, so glad you're here too, brother. I'm glad that you can catch this with me as well. And so debt being something so bad, right? Because it's money that we don't have that we're spending, right? So what I'm excited to really dispel in that myth today is that there actually are two different kinds of debt. Two different kinds. And I learned this from my mentor, Siobhan Moran. There are two different kinds of debt. There's good debt and there's bad debt. So I'm going to start with bad debt, the debt that most of us are used to. There's an idea of debt as being simply money that we are irresponsibly, there's some trucks coming by, money that we are irresponsibly spending with the hopes that someone will come and rescue us. That is bad debt. The idea that literally someday, hopefully somebody will come and rescue me away from this horrible life that I live with my debt. You know, somebody will help me make money. Somebody will help pull me out of this hole. And that could even include bankruptcy. That could include bankruptcy. It's like, well, that's an option, right? So that is that kind of debt. That's the kind of debt that I think we were all forewarned about as children, right? Like, don't get debt because then you're going to get stuck and you're going to have to go into bankruptcy and all these things. That is irresponsible debt. Going in with the intention or the mindset that somehow I will be saved, right? That is bad debt. That's no good. That's no bueno. We do not want that. Good debt, on the other hand. Good debt is using the law of reciprocity that we talked about on day number two. It's the idea that we can give ourselves the ability to give money in order to receive something. So in a sense, it's actually getting leverage on ourselves. So being able to have that thing that we need right now to be able to launch ourselves to the next level, to the next platform, so that we can in turn actually pay off that debt, right? So it's using it actually intelligently. In fact, many millionaires and billionaires use debt and loans and all these things consistently, constantly, because they are wanting to get leverage on where they currently are and to where they're wanting to be ultimately, right? So that is an example of good debt. Good debt being debt that we are buying as an investment, uh, that we are using as an investment to be able to get ourselves up to the next level. And it obviously can include coaching, you know, right? As a coach, I see this. But it can also include, in order to uh, buy a home, I mean, right? Like when you have a home, most people don't look at having a mortgage as like bad debt, but that's what it is. It's debt, right? But it's so that you can get to the next level in life, right? So there is a difference between 
how I am getting my debt. Am I getting my debt with the hopes that somebody will come and save me? Or is it that I am doing it to support myself and be supported by others? So that is good versus bad debt. And guys, that is the end of five days of wealth mindset for entrepreneurs. So I'm gonna give you a gift though. So for sticking around this long, I'm gonna give you a gift. For the first three people, that reach out to me, that are not my current clients. Obviously, current clients, you get me whenever you want. You can get me through Facebook Messenger. But current, uh, excuse me, uncurrent clients, people who are not clients, I'm gonna offer for the next three people who reach out to me, I'm gonna give you 15 minutes of my time for a laser session to bust through whatever your wealth mindset blocks are as an entrepreneur. So super excited to offer that and truly just a gift. There's literally no strings attached. I just want to help people today. So whoever wants to take me up on that, awesome. Super excited about it and uh, sending you guys so much love on this beautiful Friday here in Encinitas, California. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous day where I am. And the beach is, oh, there's a big truck in the way here, but there's a beach, the beach and the ocean is about two blocks that way. So super excited to go enjoy that myself today. Sending you guys so much love on this Friday and I'll check in with you really, really soon. Have a fantastic weekend of wealth mindset. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.